Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I would like to show you how to set up proper movement with a 2D rigid body in your Unity 5 game. So uh, right here I have a character that is able to move, and with the current way that the script is set up, it, it does work fine unless it hits a collision. And you'll see here that it will bounce right back to where it was before. Um, because what I did with my script is I, I didn't allow the rigid body to do the calculations before the movement. So this would be what you don't want, where the camera will be all jittery and uh, it, it doesn't look smooth and it distorts some of the pixels out. So if we go into my script editor, you'll see um, that transform.position was what I was directly affecting. And if you do that, it actually skips over the rigid body calculations. Um, I, I think what's going on there is after it's moved, the rigid body realizes that, freaks out, and jots the character back out into its original position. But what we actually want here is pretty simple. You want to use uh, body, and that's rigid body. So you can get component on the rigid body 2D. And then body dot move position to the new location. Uh, you can calculate the location however you want. Um, basically, here I'm grabbing the movement vector that I'm using to basically determine the direction, multiplying that by the speed of my character and uh, delta time, so that it's it's only doing it in increments rather than jumping the whole thing at once. Um, and doing that for both the X and Y positions. So I'll do a paste bin of this code or something if you want to try it out yourself. But here's how it looks when you actually have the rigid body allowed to do what the rigid body is supposed to do. So it hits the wall and there's no jittering. It just stops immediately when it hits a collision. And that's exactly what I wanted it to do so that it's smooth movements and that collisions stop the character 100% and immediately. So that's really all there is to it. It's definitely a lot better if you allow the rigid body to do its thing. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future Unity 5 videos.